All right, <clears throat> this uh, problem says that hydrochloric acid is sold as a concentrated aqueous solution. The molarity of commercial HCl is 12.0 and its density is 1.18 grams per cubic centimeter. Calculate the following, the molality of the solution and the weight percent of HCl in the solution. Okay, so uh, this is a typical kind of a problem that you might have to do in industry. You, you buy the commercial uh, concentrated HCl, which is a 12 molar solution. All right, and um, we want to find the molality and the weight percent. Okay, so first of all, let's expand these units so we can make something of it because just looking at this, you don't know what uh, how they relate together. Okay, but if we take this and we say our 12 molar is really 12.0 moles of HCl per liter of solution. Okay, and we do the same with the molality and the weight percent. So this is what we're given. And then what we want to find for the molality, I'll just do that one first. Um, molality, if I can write here, is equal to the um, moles of HCl per kilogram of water. That's the solvent, moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. All right. So here you'll notice now I have moles of HCl. That part's fine, but I need kilograms of water and I have liters of solution. Okay. So the, the first thing we need to recognize is in order to go from volume to mass units, I need density. Okay. Density of a solution is one. This means it's 1.18 grams of the solution per cubic centimeter or milliliter of the solution, all right? So grams per uh, milliliter, that allows me to convert between those units. So what I can do is get this liters of solution to, uh, to grams of solution, okay? And I'm just gonna take a little shortcut here and put this as 1,000 milliliters, so 12 uh, 0 0.0 moles of HCl per thousand milliliters of the solution. All right, and then I have uh, 1.18 grams of the solution per uh, one milliliter. Okay, so now what I have is moles per gram because my milliliters of the uh, solution will cancel. I'll have moles of HCl per gram of the solution, right? But I need kilograms of just the water, all right? So if I know the total mass of the solution, then, um, and I know the, the moles of HCl, which I can find the mass of HCl, I can find the, um, uh, the mass of water that is in this uh, mass of solution. So I think this will uh, be the clearest if I go ahead and calculate this at this point. And um, when I do that, um, let me grab my calculator here. And um, so what we get here is 12 molar divided by 1,000, divided by 1.18, and I have um, 0 0.010, uh, and I'll say just 1017, 0 0.0107, um, sorry, 01017, and that's moles of HCl per gram of solution. So that means in every gram of the solution, I have this many moles of HCl. So now what I need to do is, is convert this to grams 
of HCl. And in order to do that, I need its molar mass, which of course I can get from the periodic table. And I have hydrogen is 1.0079 and uh, chlorine is 35.453. So if I add these up, I'll go ahead and round this to, um, to 8 and just leave it at three decimal places. I'll have 36.461. Okay, that's grams per mole. So, so now I can use this to find out how many grams there are per gram of solution. And what that will look like is if I take that uh, same calculated result there. Um, you always want to carry at least another a digit, if not even more, uh, than your number of significant figures so you don't cause any additional rounding errors. So. Um, and I like to do it in the calculator where I don't even round that much. I keep the whole amount of digit, the whole number of digits there. Um, just to eliminate rounding errors is always a good idea. So here we have um, this many moles of HCl. We divide that by the 36.461 grams per mole. And what I end up with here is, and I'm going to go ahead and write the whole thing out, grams per, uh, or moles per gram of the solution. And uh, so what I have here is, um, take that answer and divide it by 36.461, and I get 0 .000. zero two seven eight nine. Oh I um I'm not paying attention here. My grams uh or rather my moles do not cancel. <laughs> Alright, that's a kind of a silly mistake there. I need to uh, multiply that, not divide it. So let me uh do that here times thirty six point four six one and now what I get is 37, uh, rather 0 0.3708, um, 0 0.3708, and the units this time, uh, the moles uh, will cancel because I, I have this now on the top and the moles is on the bottom, and I'll have grams of HCl per gram of solution, okay? So in one gram of the solution, I have 0 0.3708 grams of HCl, okay? So what that means is how much is water? Well, if one gram is solution and this much is HCl, then the rest of it is water. So if I take uh, one minus 0 0.3708, I get um, 0 0.6292, and that would be grams of water. Okay, so now that I can, uh, and I should specify that that's the amount of water per gram of solution. Okay, so with this, now I can uh, take it back to this point where I have grams of solution. And now I can say, well, in every gram of solution, I've got this many grams of water. Okay, that's what I can use to get my kilograms. Okay, so let me rewrite this uh, down a little bit. 0.3708. 